So we're talking about crazy returns. A lady tried to return her dead Christmas tree at Costco. Uh, shady lady. You know, but I have been a shady lady before too, so I need to put myself out there and be honest. I tried to return this is embarrassing, actually. Here's the story. I was with my cousin. She had just moved to Salt Lake City. She had a brand new baby. She's trying to make friends. I was with her on a road trip. I was trying to be like a good helper and all these different things. And she had this pair of jeans that was sitting in her back seat. And I said, what are those jeans for? And she said, well, I was trying to make friends with my neighbor. And I told her that she could return these at Nordstrom. And I said, oh yeah, Nordstrom, will, 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 they'll return anything. She said, yeah, but I'm really embarrassed, Lori, because I don't have a receipt. And she said that she she bought them like a year ago. I don't think she even said the timeline. She was just embarrassed because she didn't have a receipt in a bag or something like that. And so I said, I got this. Rebecca, I got this. I just took those jeans and I marched them into Nordstrom in Salt Lake City. I went to the BP section, which is like the young girls section, and I said, we need to return these jeans. I thought I was just trying to help her out. I was like showing my younger cousin how it's done. The lady at Nordstrom looked at me and said, uh, these are men's jeans. You need to go to that department. Seriously? Oh, well that's a little bit embarrassing. So I was still kind of on a mission. So I take these jeans over to the men's department. I'm like, maybe this is why this woman didn't like these jeans. But anyway, so I went to the men's department and I said, hey, um, these jeans, I need to return them. They just didn't fit well. They were purchased here. Again, the gentleman was like, hold on. He looks at the jeans, he opens them up, looks fully at them. Now, if you are a mom or dad, you understand what happens at about knee length when you have a toddler. It's usually where they wipe their nose, their mouth, themselves on your jeans. And it clearly looked like this woman had a toddler. So here I am trying to return these jeans with snot on them at Nordstrom. <laughs> dying, dying. <laughs> So finally, he goes in the back, he comes back out, so gracious, and he said, ma'am, we can return these. Way to go, Nordstrom, great brand. Um, but I just need to let you know that these were racked. They were sent to their budget rack store two years ago, so I can only give you the price of the jeans as of that point. Two years ago? I said, that's fine, that's fine, whatever. I just wanna get out of here as quickly as possible. So he gave me a gift card. Well done, Nordstrom. By the way, they've changed their return policy. If I had anything to do with that, my apologies. Um, but that is like one of those stories where you're saying, I am never gonna return anything ever again. What's your crazy return story that you've seen or that you've actually done yourself? This can get good, this can get fun. Put all those stories below.